I'm Sam, and on this episode of Serendipity Bus Life, I'm going to be showing you the final stages to getting my bus back on the road. As you've been watching, it broke down, and instead of scrapping it, I decided to swap in a new motor for the old, worn-out V8. It's been a long process of pulling out the engine, getting a new one, fitting it in there, and getting it all running. I'm almost there, and I've got it turned over, so come along for this ride while we get it on the road. My friend Brandon comes along, and it's a great time. Here we go. Well, the good news is that it runs. It's shaking around. It's got an error code, but it's not leaking oil. It was at first. As you can see, it's a couple hours later. And I uh, figured out it was the crankcase ventilation was, was lacking. So I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. Tomorrow I'll get into it a lot more. I'll be able to actually have it running. Um, right now I'm gonna bleed the brakes some more. It's been a long road. It's the next day and it is officially day 49 of working on this thing. Longer than that, that it's been parked. But uh, that's a lot of time. And so I'm Feeling fairly confident. I'm gonna just uh, be buttoning up a couple more things as I think about it. And um, I don't know, kind of tracking down some troubleshooting errors, but today is hopefully the day that I pull it from this spot under its own power. Well, it's been a long day and we just got done bleeding the brakes. It's time to find out if that transmission works. Shall we? You want to do the honors? <laughs> no. Are you sure? <laughs> All right. You want me to put it in gear? I kind of want to do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, what the fuck wrong with you? I don't want to <laughs> throw the honor in your face. Oh no, it won't start. Just kidding. Transmission moves it. All right, so um, can check that fluey. And um, I mean, I think it's it's no reason to try to be getting out onto the road and then getting stuck this late at night. So that's a job well done. And tomorrow, like, I could drive out of this driveway. That's it. Okay, I think the day has come. It is day 50, and we've cleared the tarmac so that I can launch this vessel. I'm gonna warm it up. Got some final, final touches put on there, air intakes. I'm gonna get the temperature up and check the fluids, and then um, drive it down the road here. Then the next road, and then the next road, and maybe the next road, so here it goes. It's, uh, it's definitely shaky, and I didn't even feel it in the steering, but just right there initially, I don't know. I mean, that could be a real drivability problem if it continues, so. What's the matter? Oh, just that ignition problem or something is just causing it to run rough and it's like shaky, and I feel it through the wheel. But, um... Just don't be a, a Ford Essien found by the side of the road 
That would be a Faber herd. Found on found on road dead. Found on road dead. On road dead. Thanks. Oh, it's no different than your tractor. Yeah, I got I got all the confidence in the world you can handle it. You want me to move? Oh. Should I get it out of the way? I'm feeling good about it. Okay. I'm... Go ahead. Yeah, just make it short and sweet. First time out. Fire extinguisher. Nope. Do you want me to bring my fire extinguisher too? I think the hesitation said yeah. <laughs> No, I'm so used to so used to how it was. Oh man. I don't remember it being that much quieter. I think was it? You think your other bus was quieter? No, it's definitely about the same from outside, but with this all sound deadened, like I don't know how to hear it from here, now I hear it from outside. Which is nice. It's so quiet. Yeah. Uh, misfire or I'm, I'm not really sure what Ooh, she's powerful though I think it just needs to work its way out it'll be fine <laughs> So despite the bus actually starting up, the transmission working, and being able to pull out of the driveway for the first time in over a month and a half, it came to my realization that I still needed to figure out quite a few things to get this thing on the road. The bus was shaking a lot, and I didn't have very much power, and the transmission didn't want to shift either. So as I was able to get it back into the driveway, I popped the hood for further diagnosis. Whew. All right, another uh, long day of it, but... I've made some major progress. Might not look like much, but there are three new injectors in there because I found out that I just had five cylinders. I didn't even have all eight and I was trying to drive it. So with five cylinders, it was still pretty impressive moving a bus uh, as, a, as a V5. Now it's a V8 once again. And um, I'm gonna try to just get the speedometer that I picked up reprogrammed. Uh, well, I'm going to reprogram it. I need to calculate how big my tires are and then how quick the bus is moving, how fast it's moving at a certain, you know, how much it ground it covers at a certain speed. <laughs> As you can see, it's going to be a fun calculation. But I'm going to do a little driveway test. Check this out. Pretty awesome. At this point in the project, I really thought I was just ready to hit the road, but it turned out I had one more big challenge. It was the day I wanted to leave, the day to send on bend was beginning, and Brandon had to hit the road to head that way himself. I started up the bus, but I just could not get it to shift going down the road. So I pulled back into the driveway and had to reprogram the speedometer once again, as well as make a custom vehicle speed sensor to mount to my drive shaft. I got it all hooked up 
started up the bus, and finally it was running and ready to go. It was a long day. It was a long project, but the rewards of being back on the road were right at my doorstep. Okay, it is officially Friday. It is Labor Day weekend. I'm going to head to Descend on Bend because yesterday I didn't film at all, but I got my VSS figured out. Turned out there's no pickup in the transmission and uh, I had to make my own. So I'll do a little video of that uh, once I feel like it. But right now I am late for getting to where I want to be and got about two hours to drive. Um, Got things to shake down, got to figure some stuff out. So here goes nothing. All right, we're moving down the road. It's definitely a lot quieter in here. So the sound deadening helps and the RPM being lower helps and the exhaust being better helps. And uh, I've done a little bit of troubleshooting. I've thrown some error codes, it's running lean, but uh, here we are cruising. 60 mile an hour, and they seem to be getting about 10 miles per gallon, so that is quite impressive. It's almost double what I have, so you can do the math on that. Uh, maybe about an hour and a half further, I'll be there. Wow. Well, like some sort of uh, gift from God, I was able to make it all the way up the highway, over 200 miles to my destination with no breakdowns in my brand new bus powered by a big block Ford 460 motor. I arrived at Descend on Bend and had a great time. That basically brings us to the rest of the serendipity bus life as it shall continue to be. I really appreciate all y'all tuning in watching my videos, hitting that like button, subscribing, commenting, and just waving when you see me going down the road. This is a good life, and pretty soon I'm going to have another video that's getting back into the music, the fun, and the best parts of being out here on the road in a school bus. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.